Let's start off with some primer. This is Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and my foundation L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. And I'm using my e.l.f. stipple brush and I'm just going to apply this all over the face to even out my skin tone. Alright, onto brows. I already did one brow and I'm going to do the other brow with my NYX Micro Pencil in Espresso. And all I'm going to do is just do little stroke motions to fill in the sparse areas and make them appear thicker. I already did my concealer off camera. Um, I did not do my under eyes because I really wanted that kind of messy look and I feel like the under eyes really make it more grunge like. Okie dokie. Now to kind of set my brows, and I'm looking at my mirror on my vanity, so sorry I'm out of frame. This is the L'Oreal Brow Plumper, and it's the brown shade, the dark t brown shade. Now I'm using the Scandalize um, eyeshadow stick, and this is in Bluffing. It's a taupe metallic shade, but I'm using it as a base because I really wanted a base to stick to for my shadows. I'm just kind of smearing it out with my finger. Now I'm going to use my Kat Von D Shade Light Eye Palette and I'm going to use this peach shade. And take my fluffy Avon brush and use this as a transition shade. So I'm just going to apply this into the crease to transition any other colors because I am doing kind of like a muted smoky eye. Now I'm going to use this medium to dark warm brown and I'm going to use a flat brush and I'm just going to pack this on top of my base to create that smoky, really like messy grunge look. And sorry I had some fallout so I was cleaning that up. So I'm just packing it onto the lid. Now I'm taking my fluffy Avon brush and I'm just buffing out the edges to make it really smooth. I'm going to take this taupe shade and I'm going to add this to the crease. This is just to make sure it blends well into the crease and has that gradient effect. Now I'm going to take that um, light shade, it's like a light beige shade, and I'm going to use that into the brow bone just to kind of highlight everything and blend everything all together. So now on to setting my face, I'm going to use my L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible Powder, and this is in the shade Nude Beige, and I'm just kind of patting it all over my face to set my makeup. Now I'm going to contour a little bit or add some bronzer. I'm using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil and this is just a deluxe size I've had for a long time and I still have not hit pan on it so I'm just kind of adding a cool tone because for me it looks cool tone on me so I decided to add that to kind of, you know, I wouldn't want to look too bronzed so it was perfect. Now I'm taking my Kat Von D Blush in Bellini. Just 
just a little bit. As you can see from my hand um, gesture, I am just putting just a little bit on because I don't really want a lot of color on my face. Now I'm going to take that warm brown shade. It's almost like a warm orangey brown. And I'm going to apply this to the under eye, kind of not messily, but kind of a little bit messy because I want the lower lash line to be real kind of like messy and unkept. So then I'm going to take that other brown that I used on my lid and I'm just going to messily apply it to my lower lash line, kind of the outer corner so that I can um, have it a little bit darker on that corner and it kind of blends with the top part of my eye look. Onto mascara, I'm using the last of my Flawless Definition Mascara, Deluxe Size, and I'm just going to apply this all over. I don't want to do real thick lashes, I just wanted them a little bit more separated for the look. Onto lips, I'm going to use this Avon Glimmer Stick uh, lip pencil and this is in the shade I think plum I can't remember correctly um, but I'm just going to outline my lips and now onto lipstick I'm going to use the um, I think this is the Mochalicious in Wet n Wild I like it because it's pretty close to the 1993 shade from Urban Decay, so I'm just using that as a brown, grungy look. I love it. And then I, I thought it was a little dark, so I added a little bit of Bare It All from Wet n Wild, and I just added that on top to kind of lighten it just a teeny bit. Alright, so that's the end of this tutorial. What are your favorite bands? Let me know in the comment section down below. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you guys next time.